Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Hello and welcome to What's New Wednesday at Kimberbell. It's good to be back this week with you. <laughs> if you are on, go ahead and chime in and let me know who you are and where you're from. Love to see who's with me this morning. Hello. Good morning, Jill and Sandra. Sandra, you were asking about the background quilting bundle. That is found at Kimberbell.com. You just go up to products and then you'll find background quilting. Good morning, Chris Spencer and Roxana. Hi, Colleen and Elaine. Sherry from Oklahoma and Darlene from Louisiana. Love it. Good morning, Marcy from Seattle. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's a good Wednesday morning, isn't it? Hopefully it is for you guys out there. I've been having a busy mama morning, let me tell you. <laughs> I'll tell you about that in a minute. Good morning, Evie from South Carolina and Deb from Syracuse, New York. One of my favorite places, by the way. Good morning, Kathy and Jennifer and Linda from Houston, Texas. Ah, Linda, you plan to finish up the luck of the gnome pillow today. Yay! So excited for you. Hey, we have, you have one more day. You are early, girl. <laughs> you are just fine. And guess what, Linda? You're ahead of me too. I still haven't finished mine. <laughs> good morning, Alexis from New Jersey and Brenda from Illinois. Hello, everyone. It's so good to see you again. Um, last week was, uh, was kind of crazy for, for me um, on the personal department, <laughs> in the personal department, I should say. Um, and then again this morning, because my son, just real quick, is running for student body office. And so, you know, us, us mamas, we get really nervous about these things because you just want so much for it to work out for your kids. But, you know, my my son, I, I told him, I said, you've got grit. You've got grit. You can do this. And if it works out, wonderful. And if it doesn't, that's okay, too. It's all right. It's okay, right? So um, he did make it past the first round last week. And then today starts final voting. And so I've just been at the high school watching another uh, um video series each of the kids had to then put together videos and then he got called up to the stage and had to a answer questions and oh my gosh all this stuff posters you name it it's been going on so things have been busy around this household <laughs> in that department um, but it's good to be back with you today. And just as a little side note, it is my wedding anniversary today. So happy anniversary um, to Ryan, <laughs> the original Kimber fella. I like to say it's been 26 years. Woo! 26 years. Still going strong. <laughs> Yes, indeed. All right. So, oh, there's so many fun people chiming in now. Thank you for being here. Ah, yes, today. What? There's so much new to talk about today. I cannot wait. And then, of course, I hope you'll join me for the lunch hour so long that is at noon uh, today in uh, Mountain Daylight Time now. Uh, that is at noon on our regular Facebook page. So I hope you join me for that. All right. So let's chat new themes. All right. I've shown you nine of the 12 mug rugs, right? Remember this from the last few weeks? They're all there. All nine of them. But today we will go over the last three. I saved my favorites for last, okay? So um, there's 12 designs in this, and the good news is it's shipping today to shops. So if people, yeah, Lindsay's drum roll, um, if uh, shops are on our auto, there's a lot of shops on our auto ship program, I should say. And so they receive it uh, starting today. And then um, all everyone else receives it in the next few days and such. And so anyway, it's coming to a store near you, whether that's your favorite store online or in person. So Mugrugs Volume 5 is here. This is the these are the last three I'm going to show you. And I hope they inspire you to want to make a little something for someone special in your life. OK, because we love making stuff for ourselves. Right. But we also love to gift 
uh, these items to others. So one of the things that you guys mentioned, and I totally agree with you, is you're always looking for something for the babies, right? You're looking for someone or a baby shower gift, um, something for the new mom, um, something that, you know, in the middle of the night, there's a little mug rug sitting there and uh, you could they could put a bottle on there. They could put whatever they would like on there. Um, <laughs> might be a bottle for mom, might be a bottle for baby, right? Um, but someone mentioned that this would make a good little mug mat, mug rug for a binky. I thought that was a clever idea. Someone out there mentioned it. So I said, yeah, let's do it. So this is one that I think would be so cute and could be easily personalized too. So this is Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Do you know how loved you are? And there it is. Oh, so sweet, right? I'm so excited because now <laughs> I have the perfect go-to gift uh, to add to, you know, a little, a little basket of baby shower items. So I thought it would be really cute. Even, you know, on this side, you could personalize it with a child's name and birth date. Maybe you could even do it over here, like going up vertically. I think that would be super cute. This would also think about this. If you don't want to use it as a mug rug, um, or like a binky rug, <laughs> right? Um, how cute would it be? It's got an envelope style closure to stuff it and make it a little shelf pillow. Wouldn't that be darling in a baby's room just up on the shelf with, you know, a little picture of baby and mommy and daddy and whoever family. Okay. So that's one of my favorites. Easily personalized, easy to do, quick gift. All right. The next one is a favorite because it has a little something to do with something that many of you have made. Mm. Does anyone, this is not the mug rug. <laughs> Everyone's like, whoa, mug rugs just grew. No, this is not the mug rug, but it's based off of, or the mug rug is based off of this. Okay, how many of you made this? This is the table topper that was in the last Bella box. Do you remember it? It was the poinsettia table topper. In that Bella box, you received all the fabrics to make this table topper. You also received, um, I mean, the binding, the backing, all of it. And then you made these quilt blocks in the hoop, which is so fun. And then you quilted on top of it, okay? So this was turned into either like a table topper or a, an 18 inch pillow. So I was inspired by that and thought, okay, I want to do a mug rug that has to do with sewing, that has to do with quilting, that has to do with the things we love and something I can put into my sewing room. So this is what we did. Whoop. There we go. Oh, there we go. Life is so good. Ah, do you love it? I hope you love it. I thought our digitizers knocked that out of the park with the digitizing on that quilt. And then, of course, it's got the cute little bee. Do you recognize where that bee's from? That bee comes from spring showers. <laughs> and I put life is so S-E-W good. I love the quilting on it. I love everything up about this, okay? So if you made this one, you're really gonna love that it's a little mini replica right there, um, side by side. Um, if you didn't make this one, this still screams, I love sewing, I love quilting, I love all the things, right? <laughs> so I hope you enjoy that. I think this would be so cute for all of your friends, your quilting friends, your quilting buddies, your quilting guild, whoever, someone in your life who loves to sew, including yourself. So don't forget to make you one too, all right? And put it in your sewing room. Ah, so fun. Okay, so that was a favorite. And then finally, my last favorite is one that's a favorite, um, more for probably personal reasons than anything. But it's, um, let me tell you a little bit of backstory on this last one. Um, during that time when I was asking people, you know, what would you like to see in a mug rug? Because I really wanted volume five to be all about what you're looking for, right? And so um, 
I got an email from a special lady out there and um she we have become friends i guess you would say facebook friends of uh, cyber friends we've never met in person but she is a fellow kimber bella and she um <laughs> she sent me an email and she just said uh kim i something to this effect i i'm just kind of trying to remember off the top of my head here but she's she had just recently lost um her spouse her husband and she said, I really would love something that would remind me to keep going, to keep moving forward. Something that says, I've got this, that when I look at it, I remember like everything's going to be okay. Better days are ahead. This is a really difficult time, but I've got this. So when that email came through and I read it, I was like, I think I've got the perfect idea for something like this. So if this is for that special person out there, she's on today, and I will actually be sending you this from me because I want you to remember that you've got this. And I am so sorry about the passing of your spouse. And uh, I know that you'll you can get... You can get through this. It doesn't mean you get over it, but somehow you get through it, right? And somehow you just keep moving forward. You take those steps moving forward. And if that resonates with anyone out there who thinks I've got someone in mind that I could make this for and gift to, I hope this um, means something to you too. So this can mean a lot for a lot of things. We're not talking about just the sad things in our lives, but the happy things in lives and just telling somebody you've got this. This is going to you, my friend out there. This one, you've got this. I wanted it to coordinate uh, a little bit from the spring showers quilt because I know many of you are doing that. And I thought, you know what? This really signifies to me um, that we keep moving forward thus the boots, right? We keep moving forward through all the storms in life, all the craziness in life, and that brighter days can be ahead. So I put some flowers in those boot boots to remind us of that. And so every day when you look at this, my friend out there, I want you to think, yep, I do. I've got this and I've got a lot of friends who are supporting me out there. All right. So that's another favorite. I hope you love that. And I hope that, you know, somehow within the 12 designs here that you found something that resonates with you um, that makes a great item for your home or to give to others. So there you go. All right. So with that being said, what is next? What is next? We talked about all the mug rugs. We've got lots of new things in the vault, the vault, the vault, the vault, the vault. Are you super excited? I know some of you, you, you guys are like super sluice. You know, you get, I, <laughs> before we can even like get the message out that something's new, you figured it out. You're good. You are really good. So I saw some people post about these things on the Kimber Bellas and Fellas Facebook page. So I'll talk a little bit more about it today. But yes, we've got some new things in the vault and some new things under our digital downloads category there and new background quilting and you name it. And then because we're talking all things spring, I want to give away some spring fabrics at the end. All right. OK, so let's talk about the vault. Let me share with you where you're going to go to find this stuff. Um. Let me check my camera here. <laughs> ah, there we go. Okay, so there we have the Kimberbell.com website. There it is. Lucky us. You have one more day. No, <laughs> you don't. St. Patrick's Day comes around next year too. So if you haven't gotten that yet, it's never too late. You can find that for an instant download, including the background quilting designs, and get that done 
for next year, right? What's really fun is to see what people have done to mix it up and change it up for spring and summer and all kinds of things. So there we go. Um, let's go over to products. So at the very top of the page, you'll click on the word products. And there you will find two categories. In blue are the things that um, are in shops. And in orange are the things that you can find immediately at Kimberbell.com. So let's whoop, let's go over. Hmm, let's go over to the, da, 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 the vault. Yeah, let's go to the vault. Okay, if you're new here and you're wondering what is the vault, that means these are products that were older in Kimberbell um, timeline. <laughs> in the grand scheme of Kimberbell, years ago, these were things that we had for um, sewing and machine embroidery. Some are just sewing, so be sure to read the, the um, description before you purchase anything. If you're looking for just uh, embroidery, not all of them are machine embroidery, but most are. Um, but these were things in particular from the Oh, the Possibilities for Spring book. So I know lots of you are looking for this spring book and it is out of print now. It's gone. And so it is no longer available. And so we put it in the vault. OK, I love this dancing pinwheels. OK, this is a sewing one, but isn't it so pretty? Oh, my goodness. I absolutely love it. And I don't know how well you can see here. Let me see if I can get a better picture. Oh, here we go. Look at, do you see the little butterfly right there? That little butterfly has some sheer ribbon wings on it. Pretty darn cute. In fact, here, oh, there we go. Little bows for the wings. So even back years ago, I kind of like the dimension, right? And then you're going to also learn how to ruche that flower. So stinking cute. And once you learn how to ruche, oh my gosh, the sky's the limit. We've done all kinds of things uh, with ruching over the years. And so that is one of them. So the Dancing Pinwheels Quilt. It is a sewing version so don't forget to look at what version it is but you can download it today okay another favorite one that's in there i actually have a sample of it here today um are the tulip festival table topper and again this is a sewing version but oh my goodness it's just as cute as can be isn't it and i've got one right here to show you because I'm just in love with it. I'm so excited to have this again because this just screams spring to me. And I will show you in, on the, a bigger image here in just a minute. But all of that background quilting can be done with clear blue tiles. And even though this was done years ago, uh, before clear blue tiles came out, we had a long armor do this for us. Um, they're loops, they're little loops. And the good news is, is that with clear blue tiles, little loops come in the package. So you could do this very same look with it. All right. Look how cute. So, do you see those cute loops? Oh my goodness. Gracious. Okay. Tipped over flower pots. That's my thing. <laughs> why, why put flowers in the flower pots when you can tip them over and make it look so cute that way? Am I right? All right. So there you go. There's another favorite. Let's see what else is in there. Tons of spring stuff. Oh, there's some cute um, spring tea towel, a tea towel set. And here we go. You guys have been wanting this and asking for it. And we got it up. I'm so excited. Yes, indeed. It is the carrots. The carrots, the carrots. Let's take a look. Oh my gosh. Okay, I want you to notice one thing. Do you see where it says $4 to $6? That's because that means this is in available as a sewing version or a machine embroidery version. So you have to choose your version right here. You just click the, the little tab here. And then um, you either choose machine embroidery or you choose 
sewing. Okay. So that's the difference. Don't mix those up. <laughs> if you want machine embroidery, which I think you'll, you will, um, then make sure and, and choose the right option. And that's what will come with your download. Okay. So, um, take a look. Well, let's look at some more up close pictures, shall we? So sweet and cute and fun and easy, right? Ah, I love it. Okay. <laughs> there we go. I've got them in the pots again. So let's take a look. Hmm. Before, let's see what else there is. There's some pinwheels. There's a really fun pillow there called Think Spring. This is another new one, Welcome Spring. That's a little, little pillow about this size. And even the Jeanette zipper pouch, brand new in the vault. We've This is a, a zipper pouch. It's one of our very first zipper pouches that we ever created. And this one, you can get all the sizes for the one download. And there you go. You see how fun that is. You are actually piecing that in the hoop and quilting on top of it all in the hoop. Can you believe that? So much fun. You're going to love how our digitizers uh, do zipper pouches all in the hoop. It's pretty cool. All right. So I'm going to stop sharing my screen here for a minute that those are all available on the vault now. Pretty cool. All right. So let me show you a close up here. Ah, okay. Here it is in all its glory. <laughs> Don't you love that? It is just fun. So if you want to take a little break from machine embroidery and do a little bit, try your hand at sewing again, it's just really fun. This is done with paper piecing. We'll explain how to do that. Super simple. A lot of fun. And look, like I said, the quilting on there are the loops. And indeed, we have loops in clear blue tiles so that you could finish this start to finish in one day. Believe me, I'm going to challenge you. <laughs> I know some of you will, will be like, challenge accepted. I'm doing it today. I'm going to get it all done, right? <laughs> oh, it is it's just really fun. <laughs> Colette says, I don't like paper PC. Oh, Colette. Have you tried, like, like, can I help, can I help you understand it better? Because once you understand it and do it, oh, it's fun. It's so fun. Now, of course, granted, I, any day of the week, I love to do it on my embroidery machine, but this was an old pattern. So it is a sewing version. All right. So try it out when you get a chance. All right. So. Let's take a look at the carrots in person. Ah, my gosh. Yeah, see, Kim Yanko says, you can do it. You can do it. <laughs> Chris says, you betcha. Tonight, she's going to make the... Chris, are you making the carrots or are you going to make the tulip table topper? <laughs> All right. Isn't that fun? That's a... Let's take this one out for a minute here. I put several things in there. Remember that from a few um, What's New Wednesdays ago where we talked about how to make that one. But look how fun these carrots are. I mean, come on. Just as cute as can be. And super simple. Gingham, are you kidding me? Gingham on top of that? Mm. Polka dots? What? With some green ribbon? Just really, really cute. So if you were looking for quick, fast, easy, fun, decorating Easter, spring, you name it, and just think, I got to have a basket of carrots <laughs> like me. See, they just keep coming. They keep coming. I'm just going to stuff this baby full because it is so darling. So darling. Okay. Yeah. Lynn says, great scrap buster. Absolutely. Absolutely. So you could put it in, you know, a basket. Beth says, oh, I like your comment, Beth. She says, carrots would be cute in the Kimberbell tray. Yes, they would. I should have brought my tray over. That's okay. Yeah, the Kimberbell tray for sure. Um, so, yeah, teachers is like rabbits. They multiply. 
Yeah, seriously, you can't stop with just making one. No way, no sir, because they're just too much fun. And then you start going through your orange scraps of fabric. You're like, okay, well, I got to do one out of that. So let me show you. There's a little difference between the sewing version and the machine embroidery version. Just so that you can see the difference here. The sewing version is pieced, as you can see here. Well, the embroidery version is more like um, an applique. Do you see the decorative ridges? And I really like the look of that because it looks a lot like a carrot. So whether you do it sewing version or machine embroidery version, they're super cute and super simple. Okay. And so sweet. All right. <laughs> Kathy. Yeah. Kathy says, um, my issue is storage. Love all the designs, but where do we store everything we make? Kathy, under beds, <laughs> high in closets, in your food storage. I don't know, right? But, you know, when they're cute, you got to have them. <laughs> I totally get what you're saying. Yeah, I have like a closet <laughs> that is just like, here is decorating stuff and it is stuffed full. Believe me. All right. Okay. Um, oh, let's see. Vicki. She says, love all the spring and Easter. When will the sweet land of Liberty pillow and embellishments be available? Vicki, I'm so glad you asked. That is actually, um, that's in the vault. It will be available, I believe it's the first week of April is when it's going to be released. So um, there are many shops out there that are putting together fabric kits for it. If you're interested in that, um, they are doing pre-orders now for that. But the actual download instructions, pattern, embroidery files will be, boy, I think it's April. I don't want to say a date. It's that first week of April. So coming really, really soon. All right. Yeah. Susan says, I have a storage shed for all of my holiday decorations. Yes, indeed. And you know, I can never have enough of those like Rubbermaid big containers. My husband's like, you got some more of those? Like, yeah. Because I got to store all my holiday stuff in it, right? <laughs> all right. Super cute. I hope that you'll have fun and enjoy making those. Now, the next thing I want to share with you that's brand new, let me look at my little list here. Boop, 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 boop. I did that, I did that, I did that. <laughs> okay, another thing that you guys have been asking for. Oh, April 7th, Deidre said, is what I said last time. Awesome. <laughs> okay, thank you, Deidre. I, I, yeah. My mind's like, woo, right now. April 7th, it sounds like. Okay, watch for it. You better believe we'll be talking about it a lot, shouting it from the rooftops that it's available. I can't wait for you to see this one. The, the Sweet Land of Liberty is what they're talking about. And the background quilting on it is like amazing. Amazing. You're not going to believe it. So cute. All right. So um, the next thing I want to share with you is something, like I said, that you've been asking about. And um, that is you want quilt labels, quilt labels. You know, you've inspired me. <laughs> you've inspired me because I, if you're like me, give a shout out to the people that don't label their quilts and should, like me. Um, are you a non-labeler? <laughs> I get so excited. I just get done. And then I think after the fact, huh. You know, I should have labeled that for posterity, right? Or just for my own remembrance, right? Yeah, everyone's like, yes, labels, yes, labels, quilt labels, yes. You love them, you want them, we've got them. Or we're going to start coming out with more of them. We have a few, we have one, I should say, available today. And that is to match the Spring Showers quilt. Um, let me see, where did my label go? Well, I've got one. Oh, here. Oh, hold on. Here we go. Fell on the floor. All right. <laughs> so 
Labeling is something that, yeah, we don't often think about because we're just ready to get the quilt done, but it really is, it can be pretty special to have on there because you've spent a lot of time on this quilt, right? You've put a lot of work and effort and hopefully not many tears, but you know, a lot of energy into this and you want to remember it. You want to remember the dates. You want to remember who it was made for, or who it was made by and all those things. And your family will certainly appreciate that one day as well. So even if you've gotten your quilts done, it's still never too late to go back and label them. So that is my challenge to you and myself because I got some labeling to do, let me tell you. But we decided to start putting together quilt labels that will also coordinate with um, some of our feature quilts, okay? And so just watch for them. They're going to be coming out there sporadically, but this one matches spring showers. Isn't that so cute? Oh my goodness. I absolutely love it. Spring showers made for you by, and it's got the umbrella and the flowers and the butterfly and all the things. And so how we made this is all in the hoop. And then you turn it inside out and then you will just do a little whip stitch, just a little hand stitching, not too much, I promise, to put it on top of the quilt. Because most likely you will have already finished your quilt projects, right? I mean, you certainly could put it on, you know, by machine for sure. But if you've already finished some of these quilts and some of the ones that we'll be coming out with here soon, you're going to want to know that it's never too late to label your quilt, right? So there it is. And let me show you. <laughs> okay, I have to hand it to um, our product marketing team, our product development team, product development team, who made this sample, okay? This is the Spring Showers quilt. You've all seen it by now, I'm sure, right? Darling, darling, darling. So then when they went to label it, they took this and they added a name to the back of it. And it said, <laughs> spring showers made for you by, and then they put my name. And I was like, well, to, uh, I mean, I guess if it has my name on it, now it's mine, right? <laughs> I don't know. The point is, is that you can put whatever name you want on there. Please don't put Kim Christopherson. It wasn't made by me, right? Put your own name on there. But I thought that was really cute how they added that by Kim Christopherson. I'm like, well, sounds like it's mine then. <laughs> now I don't have to make the whole thing, right? Nah, I'm still making the whole thing because I'm making it with you guys for the sew along. But I thought that was sweet of them. All right. So there you go right there just at the bottom of your quilt you could personalize it with anything if you want to have a special message to somebody if you want to put the dates on there i think dates are really good really good idea to put on there because i'm not going to remember that in 2022 i made this i mean i might but i might not and my family my kids one day won't know that and so I think it's just a little piece of history sewn onto the back of your quilt. So let me show you where you can find it um, at Kimberbell. Okay. So let's share the screen and there we go. There we go. And there we go. Okay. So I'm going to go back up. Let's go back to the home page real quick. Maybe. There we go. Ah, spring showers. Go figure. And then <laughs> we go to products. Now, remember I said the orange side is what you can get from Kimberbell immediately. Um, you can get the background quilting. Someone asked about that earlier, where that's found. Um, you can get uh, the Bella Box, which we'll talk about another time. <laughs> There's a little secret coming out really soon about that um the vault and digital downloads and free downloads so go, if you'll go to digital downloads even though the vault is a digital download and background quilting is a digital download this is like a separate cat category of sample downloads of the 
of things to make that are quick, easy, and fun. Look how cute. They all coordinate with other Kimberbell products that are available through quilt shops. So check them out. But here it is, the Spring Showers Quilt Label. Again, you go to Digital Downloads, and there you will find the label. It's for a 5 by 7 hoop. Uh, let's see. And then um, you're also going to get full color instructions step by step, of course, like we do, right, um, on how this is put together. And for some reason, it's not letting me click on it. Okay, someone at Kimberbell, check that out for me, would you? Or maybe it's working for you guys. Hmm. Could add it to my cart. <laughs> it's there. Anyway, so check that out. Um, that, and we will make sure that's working. Maybe my internet's, it looks like maybe my internet's frozen. All right. Check that out. It's under digital downloads under products. All right. Yeah. Kathy says it's not working. All right. Well, maybe, yeah. Shirley says maybe too many people at the site at the same time. We will, we will definitely get our IT people on that for sure. Cause we want to make sure you, um, you are able to download it and make it and be done with your quilt. Well, we're going to be done with a quilt at the end of this month, right? Everyone. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. So that is available for you. Keep watching because then you're going to see a whole lot more quilt labels and quilt labels that not only um, they not only share or they not only coordinate with the Kimberbell quilts and patterns and stuff, but also just like quilt labels in general that our um, our fun team has put together for you. All right. Okay, so Mary, thank you. She says, I love your instructions. Easy to follow and thorough. Thank you, Mary. I will pass that on to our product development team. That will mean the world to them for sure. All right, so we've talked about the mug rugs. We've talked about the vault. We've talked about the quilt sewing labels. Don't forget to join me today at noon. Um, same place. Well, same place for you guys on Facebook. I'll be going down to the office to film that. Uh, where we're going to be talking about the next part of the quilt. I might as well show it to you. And even if you're not doing this quilt, you may be interested in watching because I'm going to show you how cool it is to do these uh, log cabin blocks all in the hoop and quilted in the hoop too, which is really, really cool. Okay. All right, um, before we go on to our giveaway, there's one other thing I wanna mention, and that is next week, I'm actually going out to Arizona for a few days um, on a business trip. I get to meet with uh, maybe many of your shop owners out there. Um, if you if your local shop sells uh, Husqvarna, Husqvarna Viking or Foff machines or Singer machines, I am meeting with quilt shop owners who sell those machines and I'm gonna teach them how to use clear blue tiles, which I'm super excited about. So um, I will be coming back, I'm taking an early morning flight back here on Wednesday so that I can be back in time for the so long at noon. It's gonna be kind of a crazy day, but I didn't want to go another week without What's New Wednesday. So I kind of, you know, asked for a big favor from a really good guy. <laughs> yes, many of you know him as the Kimber fella. It is my husband, Ryan. <laughs> Guess what? He's going to make his debut on What's New Wednesday next week. Bless his heart. Will you all be nice to him? <laughs> I know you will. I know you will. So he is going to do this because I will probably be just landing and driving on the freeway back home. So he will be doing What's New Wednesday. I cannot promise what it's going to be like or what's going to come out of his mouth. <laughs> Donna says, oh, how fun. Cannot wait. Oh, yes. He, he is loads of fun. Let me tell you. Um, but he said, sure, I'd be happy to talk to, talk to the Kimber Bellas and fellas and tell them what's new. So 
he's going to do it for me. We'll see how it works out. Hey, maybe he'll be so good at it that he'll just be like, hey, I, I, I want my own show. Come on. <laughs> right? Okay. So tune in next Wednesday. What's new Wednesday at 10 a.m. here, same time, just so that you can... <laughs> Yeah, just so that you can hear the Kimber fella. There you go. Chris says, I wish you had a doppelganger. <laughs> yeah, if you know Chris, she's my twin. <laughs> oh, yes, I do. But <laughs> you want to talk about Kimberbell all day long, right? Curtis, any block option ideas for the Liberty Pillow for Canadians? Curtis, that's a great question. You know, that particular one... Um, Probably, I mean, I could see there there could be a few tweaks made to it to be more Canadian. Yeah, I, I think there because there's things like celebrations, right? So there's like there's pie, there's cupcakes, there's cake on it. I'm trying to think. There's cherries, but the where the flag portion is, you could certainly do something that more mimics the red and white um, flag from Canada could be interesting. I would love to see if someone does that. All right. Um, let's see. <laughs> Darlene says, love how you keep things interesting. <laughs> Thank you, Darlene. I, I, we try, we absolutely try to do that. Um, and, uh, it, it just makes life more fun, right? Absolutely. Okay, so all those things have been said, and now it's time for a giveaway, and it's a big one. Look at all these fun spring fabrics. These are Kimberbell fabrics. Um, they are a fat, there's a fat quarter of each of these ones that I thought just screamed spring to me. Since we were talking all things scream, all things scream. Wow, spring! I'm going to scream spring. Then I thought we put together a few fabrics for you to, um, to have, to win. So there's 12 different fat quarters. These are all from the Kimberbell Basics fabric line. So if you, if it, if there's any that like kind of jump out at you, you may want to check your favorite quilt shop to see if they have them. Kimberbell Basics. We have, oh my gosh, over a hundred basics in our collection with solids as well. And so these are just 12 fat quarters that I thought would be fun to give away. In fact, I thought they'd be so fun to give away that we are, we're gonna give two of them away, two bundles of 12 fat quarters. So here's the question. Here's what you're gonna answer for me. Um, what Kimberbell product that I shared today put a little spring in your step? Ah, don't you love how I, the play on words? <laughs> what Kimberbell product that I showed today during What's New Wednesday, uh, put a little spring in your step because these are all spring fabrics and I want you to have them so that you can start making some of these spring projects, right? At first I was thinking, well, they definitely need to start making carrots. <laughs> so I put just orange and green together, which are really, really cute, right? But um, then I thought, well, we got to do more than just orange and green. Let me see if I can get my light on. Here we go. We got to do more than just orange and green, although they are pretty, pretty oranges, pretty greens. We got to throw in some pinks and some yellows and some, oh gosh, just all, all the colors. Aren't they beautiful? A little bit of red in that. So very fun. What project spoken of today? puts a spring in your step and makes you think, ah, I can't wait to start making for spring, right? So let me know in the comments. Um, we will choose two winners on um, between Facebook and YouTube, okay? And we will announce the winners this Friday morning, as we always do on Facebook, all right? That's all you have to do. Pretty simple, right? Okay, one last thing before we go. I totally forgot to show you this. But when I showed you this basket earlier, I actually had a little buddy in there too that I thought would be super cute to show off. And that is the, the little bunny with the floppy chenille ears. Do you recognize that? This is from Digital Dealer Exclusives. And this is something that you can only pur purchase, only download purchase um, 
you purchase it um, through a shop out there that is doing digital dealer exclusives. Okay, and this is supporting the, the independent quilt shop. But the great thing about this is that you can do it whether through a quilt shop that is doing it online or is doing it in person. So if you live near a quilt shop, fantastic. You can walk in their doors. You can find out they're doing classes on this. Um, you can do things within the shop. But the other good news is, is that if you don't live near a quilt shop, that's okay. Not a problem. These can digital dealer exclusives this year are um, able to be um, received no matter where you live. Yay! So find a shop that is doing part of the Kimberbell Digital Dealer Exclusives program. They all run it a little bit differently, but find out what how they're doing theirs. And it's not too late to get this design. Isn't that so fun and cute and Eastery and just perfect for this time of year? It's the little floppy ears, okay, with the chenille and the bunny and all the things. I've seen people put them on sweatshirts. I saw someone put it on a baby onesie. I saw some people put it on a mason jar lid, which I thought was adorable. And then they put jelly beans inside the mason jar. So stinking cute. I love your ideas. Keep sharing them. So, but this is the design and you have to get it from someone doing digital dealer exclusives. All right. So it's not too late to get this. This was the January design, but find the shop. They will get you all set up for it. And then it's a download that will be found in your Kimberbell library. Did you know at Kimberbell.com when you purchase any of our downloads or background quilting files or digital dealer exclusives, you can find it in our library, which means you always have access to it. It's awesome. Tina says, love, love, love digital dealer exclusives. Even I can participate, even though I live in a very rural area. Tina, thank you for sharing that. You are exactly the kind of person that we were looking out for. Okay. Um, I, I'm glad that you're able to enjoy, enjoy that. So, yes, thank you for supporting the shop that you are doing it from as well. Okay, it's a win-win for sure. Okay, any questions before I leave? We're just a few minutes shy of the hour that we do this for. <laughs> Shirley says, hints on the Bella box. Hmm. You're going to be finding out about it really soon. Um, it's very pretty hmm. that, yeah, it's, it's a very, I know, I know you're thinking, well, Kim, that doesn't give me anything. It's not, I mean, Kimberbell is pretty. I would say Kimberbell is pretty, but I think more people think of Kimberbell as cute, cute, pretty, hmm. but this one's really like pretty. It's like beautiful. I don't know if that helps you at all, but you can't believe the work that has gone into this next Bella box. It's gorgeous. And I think you're going to love it. So, and the good news is we're going to share it with you beforehand too. Uh, just like we did with the last Bella box. It's not going to be a surprise. If you want to keep it a surprise, then don't watch Facebook, but we will be sharing it with you so that you know beforehand what you're ordering. All right, Geraldine, you're so sweet. She says, Kimber Bell is beautiful. Thank you, Geraldine. We, we absolutely try to make beautiful things, beautiful, cute, lovely, all the adjectives, right, for you and your home. All right. Uh, Erica's asking the date really soon. <laughs> uh, look, look in April, shall we say. Okay. Look for April um, to find out more. There, there's a lot of changes happening with, um, well, yeah, we'll just, ah, you guys, you get me when I'm like ready to just spill it all and I can't quite yet. <laughs> Karen says, Kimberbell is happy stuff. Yay. I love that. You know, I would, that reminds me, that was, that's kind of funny. One of my, one of a, a friend that I've met again through the industry 
she um, she works for a quilt shop out there, and I saw her at a trade show one time, and she says, she started chanting, Kimber Bell for president, Kimber Bell for president. And I just like, what? And she's like, it's because all of the Kimber Bell products make us happy. I thought that was sweet. So there you go. Melanie says, please fill the beans. I love the bell box. Melanie, oh, I wish I could. Somehow, I think our marketing team is probably watching this right now. And they're probably like, this is it. <laughs> don't do it, Kim. Don't do it. <laughs> I know. Tease, tease, tease. Yeah. And remember, the last one sold out, so I'm just saying, we will let you know beforehand, but their quantities are always limited. All right? Okay. Well, thank you for joining me again today. It's always such a pleasure to be with you every Wednesday. Remember, next Wednesday, I'm going to look a little different. <laughs> it's going to be my husband instead. The original Kimber fella, and it's going to be in the house, and um, he's going to tell you what's new at Kimberbell. I'm a little nervous. I think I'll be like, I'll put it on, on in the car. Just, I won't watch in the car, I promise, but I'll listen to it. And I'm going to be kind of nervous what he talks about. No, he'll be fine. He'll be just fine. You'll actually love him. He's really funny. He's, he's a really cool guy. So anyway, all right. And then, uh, the other last thing was just to, to let me know what project this week, put a spring in your step because you could possibly win a whole bunch of fat quarters, 12 of them from Kimber Bell. And we will announce the winners this Friday. Thanks for joining me today, everyone. I will see you in just a, about an hour for the next part of the sew along for spring showers. So join me at 12 uh, Mountain Daylight Time um, in just an hour so that we can review how to do the next part of the spring shower um, quilt. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Bye-bye.